Welcome ladies and gentlemen, we are into round two. As you can see, here are the brackets. Install elimination, as I mentioned. So this round we have zero versus nitro. And there we go, we are started. So this is Zero versus Nitro, which was the finals of the previous tournament. So this is the rematch that Zero has been wanting. It looks like he's went for Eradicators. It's Eradicators versus Pilman. Interesting choice. <clears throat> Midnight Bunny is obviously quite good to have in the soul. Not quite as good as Proper Trapezist, but it's the next best thing. Mm, there's the Brake Ride and the Descendant. In retrospect, yeah, Eradicator could be a very, very strong contender against Pillman because the Desert Gunners will allow you to just ignore the intercept of the Dreaming Forces in completely destroying the defense that Pillman has. Yeah, it's unfortunate there was a trigger there, so the 12k doesn't go through. It would have needed a trigger in order to hit. Uh, riding into the Dreamy Fortress is the best grade 2 ride you can get in Pilman. <laughs> There's a 10k vanilla. About to take a look at Zero's hand, but the game will not allow me. And then 14 will hit over, 12. No trigger, unfortunately. That's a, another Dreamy Fortress that goes to the bottom of the deck. That crit trigger won't help at, on, at all in any way. A second ascent that really doesn't help as much. So will he start calling the Desert Gunners? That's a question. No, he's opposite not to. He's keeping them for later. Zero must be aware of the threat of the Dreamy Fortress. That crit trigger is very good, so that will help him catch up. That also means that if the opponent goes into a cure, they won't immediately just be able to use the effect. And the effects of the grade 2, obviously, on hit is um, unflip and soul charge. So you get certain vanguards to counter blast to destroy the rear guard, first of all. This is still quite even. And there's the liqueur. It's quite lucky that he didn't put him on 4 damage. The liqueur would have been quite, quite dangerous, especially at this point in the game.
Yeah, very interesting. Using his soul charge again. And it looks like Nitro is running out of resources very quickly. But the cure can change all of that in, in, in an instant. Now Alice's skill should activate. Land to soul charge again. So sure, have you got first? Yeah. And now if the cure can hit a critical trigger, it will just be immediately again. And there we go. That is a guaranteed victory. Nothing zero to do about that at all. And that's the thing about advantage, you can have a five card hand, but if you don't get to use it, then you might as well have zero. So very well played there by Nitro. I think Pale Moon's a very, very good call for this tournament. It's both defensive and aggressive. Gets off lots of attacks. And good, the players are just immediately going into game two without me having to message them <laughs> as I did the first time. <laughs> it seems like Zero is quite content to stick. Oh no, he swapped to American Weaving. I was about to say quite content to stick with Eradicator, but uh, that's obviously incorrect. Um, what I meant to say was Nitro is quite content to stick with Pale Moon. Okay, that'll land to Soul Charge 1. And we'll see if he uses the starting Vanguard once again. Which he does seem to do. Oh, he decided to keep the 5k Rearguard. Interesting. So with his current hand, his next turn he's going to have to write the 10k vanilla and then when he writes the golden beast table, that will call the 10k vanilla to rearguard circle. And then you have to soap blast 2 in order to remove the strength. So then you can draw anything between now and then. It's an opening crit. Critical triggers obviously deal a tremendous amount of damage in this event. So we're going to have to go with 10k grade 2. Which thankfully that is Camila. The Barking Cerberus. Uh, so I'll just choose the effect now. Dreamy Fortress? Yeah. <clears throat> because now uh, Miracle Mode doesn't have any outs to Dreamy Fortresses. So, there's nowhere near the level of threat. Hmm, Nitro is at a little bit of a disadvantage here, just with the lack of grade twos in hand, lack of protection. Good defensive draw, which means that Zero now has to hit trigger. But unfortunately, that also puts Nitro on three damage. But thankfully, he doesn't have the. Oh, I was about to say he doesn't have the, the liqueur in hand. So will he go for the liqueur or will he go for the Golden Beast Tamer? That is the question. Which is the better option here? Yep. 
And then call the gate to 10k vanilla from Rearguard. From Soul to Rearguard. And that will take care of the opponent's 10k Rearguard. He's waiting for Dreamy Fortress. That's an unusual choice. He doesn't have any Dreamy Fortress in Soul. Hmm. Well, he's going to call Alex to regard you, would imagine. Hmm. I think he was maybe just hoping to soul charge into a dream fortress there. Now, Golden Beast Tamer attack? Yeah, that makes sense. No, that's unfortunate. No trigger. Alright, yeah, that's just as unfortunate. The plenty still hits. That's fine. And now Alice's effect will bring out the 10k Vanilla for defense. Or is it going to go into Purple Trapezist? And put back Skull Juggler to bring out Skull Juggler. Soul Charge again. Let's see what he chooses. Yeah, Tank of Vanilla for the Regard. <laughs> and just declaring attack. Why not? It's free, it doesn't, doesn't do anything. Perfectly fine. The opponent is quite clearly not playing Mega Colony. Well, there's a Shuri Yuki, so that could be quite strong. And that Shuri Yuki will return to hand at the end of the turn, guaranteeing that he has the Caron Blast for the minus 20k effect, but only works on level break 4. And that does allow... Uh, zero to take care of the regards. Well, that stun trigger could still hit. But not if Echo hits the trigger. So, will he go into a cure now? This is a question. Yes. So this could be the game changer right here. So you're gonna to have to think very carefully about this move. He has the 10k vanilla in hand, which he surely wants to call. He also has the Alice, but he also has Alice and Soul. He has no counter blasts. Oh no, it's not one counter blast. Oh, very good. And soul charge once again. Hmm, so he can counter blast for Alice. And that always allows the Shuriyuki to now activate. That was unexpected. I'm not sure what he was going for with that move. Was that a mistake? What, what happened there? Why did he not call it to the open regard? 
it may have just cost him the game yet. Why did he choose to get rid of his grade 2? Or maybe he decided he already lost? Well, if he doesn't hit a trigger, he's still alive. Yep, so Nitro has another turn. And unfortunately, these Mandala Lords aren't helping much. Interesting choice. Yeah, well, it gives the regards plus three, which is what he's looking for. So, call the two 10 cave nulls, and they're both come to get in case. And also adds a layer of defense. Well, they could go for Alice. No, he just wins defense. Good shot. Yeah, and if he gets the back then you just win. <laughs> and the opponent has just given up. And there we go. That is Nitro winning the game. So, very well done. Congratulations, Nitro, who moves on to the next round. And we shall see you all in the next game. I almost said next tournament, but that wouldn't be correct. We still have the rest of the tournament to go. So I um, hope everyone enjoyed. We shall see you next time.